Hello and welcome to Search for Your Reg on YouTube. In this video I'm going to highlight some of the hazards associated with some of Plymouth cycle lanes. I'm going to start with a cycle lane that I consider to be the most dangerous in Plymouth and that is the one that cuts across the front of the slip road between Lera Bridge Road and Gardenia Way. The fundamental problem can be seen clearly in these few examples. The cyclist is encouraged to use a cycle lane that cuts across the face of the slip road while 99% of the traffic turns left at this point, causing a conflict. The cycle lane encourages the cyclist to adopt a position to the far left side of the road where they are out of sight to most road users. When you combine this with the presumed safety that a cycle lane gives the cyclist, the results are potentially catastrophic. Buddy, that's why I don't use that cycle lane. This footage, courtesy of Cycle Gaz, clearly shows what can happen with this type of road configuration. Whoa, whoa, whoa! RX11 AXP! What are you doing, you idiot? You're an absolute idiot! You nearly killed her! Although this is a cycle superhighway and not a cycle lane, the results are the same. The cyclist is encouraged to take position at the left hand side of the road, out of sight to the following lorry driver, with almost devastating results. Cyclists should be aware that cycle use in the UK is not mandatory, and neither should they be bullied into using such facilities purely based on their existence. Cyclists should only use such facilities if they consider them to be safe and convenient for them, not other road users. Motorists should be aware of this, as a cyclist's failure to use a cycle provision is often an indication of a hazardous situation approaching. Sounding your horn, as this motorist does here, is simply not acceptable. A cyclist is encouraged to adopt the primary riding position. This is the centre of the lane that they are currently occupying. They are encouraged to do this while negotiating hazards and does two things. Firstly, being in front of the following vehicle instead of at the side of it increases the cyclist's visibility. Secondly, it also deters unwanted overtaking from following vehicles whilst the cyclist negotiates the hazard. Other road users need to be aware of this. If a cyclist is in the middle of the lane in front of them, it's merely because they want to negotiate a hazard safely without unwanted overtaking. They're not doing it simply to get in your way. Now I want to talk a little bit about the cycle lanes you see around roundabouts. For similar reasons, these can also be potentially hazardous, as they encourage cyclists to cut across the face of roundabout exits, often out of sight to other road users. The following are a couple of examples of where cyclists have been the victim of a confrontation because of their use of such lanes. This example almost results in a collision. You can see the cyclist having to lock their rear wheel in avoidance. In this example at Catdown Roundabout, cyclists are encouraged to take a position at the left hand side of the lane whilst approaching the roundabout and use the cycle lane to join the bus lane ahead. Unfortunately, this lane is a lane for traffic solely turning left. The potential for conflict here is readily apparent. Cyclists continuing straight on should adopt a position to the off side of the traffic turning left to avoid a potential conflict. Also consider making eye contact with the following driver and make your intentions known to them, as I do here. I'm now going to talk about the door zone. The door zone is a space alongside parked vehicles in which a cyclist is in danger of being hit by a car door when open carelessly. Despite the known hazard that the door zone presents, cycle lanes are still placed alongside designated parking bays within the door zone. 
like this example of a new facility on Chapel Street in Plymouth. Some triviality is made about this type of collision, but the fact still remains. Collisions caused by car doors do cause serious injury and even death among cyclists. Some may think that the chances of being hit by a car door are negligible. However, this footage paints a different picture. Cyclists should avoid cycling in the door zone at all costs. I'm going to end with a note about narrow cycle lanes. These encourage the close overtaking of cyclists by other road users, as cyclists in the cycle lane are considered to be in a different lane, and therefore other road users feel that they do not need to give extra space when overtaking. This simply isn't the case. Thank you for watching.